Hey everyone, I thought we'd do a quick overview of the Reclaim Energy Hot Water Heat Pump Controller. So this is the controller you have with your Reclaim Energy CO2 Hot Water Heat Pump. This controller can mount on the side of the tank or on the wall near your heat pump. Uh, the cables can even be extended if you want to run it inside your home or uh, something like that. So basically we have the controller itself, which is this box here. Now that's connected to the heat pump via an RJ45 connector. This connector here goes into the connection, which is um, on the right hand side of the heat pump, where your power supply joins in and also just above where your flow and return pipe work connect. Next, we have the sensor, which this goes into the sensor well inside in the side of the hot water tank. This is measuring the temperature inside the tank and then relaying that information back to the heat pump controller so it basically runs its operation. Now, if we're looking at the controller, you'll see we have the time at the top. We next have a green light, which is power on, which basically tells it's getting power to the controller. We have our heat pump on call. So at the moment, that uh, orange light is telling us that the controller is telling a heat pump to come on, uh, to heat the water in the tank. And then at the bottom, we have a heat pump fault light. Now, the heat pump fault light comes on. You'll also get the error code displayed up here. You'll see on the left hand side here we've got three arrows starting at the bottom. Now what they are doing is they're pointing to buttons on the side. Now what we have here, the first one, is the menu mode. So that's how we get into the menu and it's also our enter button. So as we go through and change settings that's the button we use to basically say yes I want that setting. Next we have the temperature button which if we touch that now, press that in, you'll see that it's telling me that this sensor is telling me it's 17 degrees. So it's obviously pretty cool in here and also that the heat pump is settings are currently on option one which is a 24 hour supply. So if the tank temperature drops then the heat pump will run. Also with this temperature button in the middle, we also have a down and a cross arrow. So that's basically when we're scrolling through the menu, we can move, move ourselves through the menu for making selections. So then we basically have the top button, which is an up arrow, an exit, which is to exit the menu, and also boost mode. So if you're running your heat pump on certain settings, and you know you, you get low on hot water or you run out of hot water you can be hold that button in and turn boost mode on so what that does is that brings the heat pump on for uh, for six hours and to sort of run outside of your set parameters so it's a very versatile controller it's very helpful and very easy to use it allows for great use of your power so for example in the settings the options we have option one to five we can set. Now each of them, those correlate to a different time period. So for example, like we said, option one is a 24 hour mode. That means that there is basically always a call for heat. So if your tank temperature drops below a certain level, then that heat pump will come on. Next, uh, for example, option four, which is our most popular, and that is what we'd like to call the, the solar PV mode almost where it brings the heat pump on at 10 a.m. in the morning and then that will run for a period of five hours. So like I said, that's, that's been our most popular setting so far. Then there's option five, which will actually allow you to set your own two time zones during the day. So very flexible and allowing you to be in control of when you heat your hot water.